He's almost five now. I think he has a crisis and he doesn't know what he is. Hey. I'm Ryan and this is Snoopy Story for GeoBeats. Sometimes he lies in front of the window like a cat and he listens a lot of times like a dog. Hey. And sometimes he has typical rabbit behavior. But most of the time, I think he's a little bit of everything. Uh, a few years ago, I really wanted a dog, and my ex boyfriend came home with the bunny. The moment I saw him, I really fell in love, and yeah, he stayed. When I was young, I also had a dog, and the bond between me and the dog was also really close. And it feels the same with him. He's a part of me. Oh, he's in front of me. Most of the time at my feet. When I'm moving a little bit so I can see him anymore, he moves too. When I come home and open the door, he runs to me. When I'm in the kitchen, he's in the kitchen. When I go take a shower, he is waiting in front of the bathroom door, waiting for me to come back. He's really sweet and sometimes he's a bit strange because he gets angry on me. When I leave the house for one night, the next day he doesn't want to talk to me and he go lie next to me, but with his head away. And then after one or two hours, he comes to me and then he's okay. When he's really hungry and I have his favorite food, he sprints it right to me and then he makes a really weird sound. Sometimes he's like a little pig. Yeah, I, uh, it's, a <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, I, I can, he does it better. He's still my little bunny. Sometimes my friends come over, oh, I'm still surprised about how big he is, but I'm like, no, he's really small, he's little. But then I see pictures with him in front of me. And I'm like, oh, maybe he's a little bit big. When I see him with a dog, I'm like, oh yeah, you're bigger than a dog. In the beginning, he liked to eat uh, the chairs and the table. And now he only likes to eat cables, especially important cables like chargers for my phone or for my laptop. He's allowed everywhere in the house. Sometimes I close my bedroom door because he has really a lot of hair. It gets everywhere. When people want a rabbit, they want a free roam in the house. They need a really good vacuum cleaner and they need to vacuum clean the house three times a day. He recognizes his name when I call him Snoopy, or the vet calls him Snoopy. His ears goes like this. And also when he does something he's not allowed to, and I call his name, he's like, oh, mom sees me, and then he quits. I tried to get another rabbit for him, but he doesn't like rabbits. And when he's in front of another rabbit, he's like, okay, where's mom? Where's mom? And then he comes to me and lies next to me. They are intelligent. I call Snoopy, I'm going to bed, you too. And he was like, oh, okay, and he goes to his bed. They are, I think, one of the best pets you can have. I tell him every day, he makes my life so much more beautiful and he means the world to me. I really start crying when I think about the day you stop living. Yeah. I won't, no, I cannot imagine that. <laughs>